Good morning, everybody. We are coming to you from Formula Drift, New Jersey, English Town Raceway Park, the big figure eight inside the drag strip. It's gonna be pretty fun. Make sure you come by. Today's Thursday. Um, this video will be coming out Thursday night, more than likely. This will be open to the public um, Friday and Saturday. Make sure you come by. You can see the sign here. Register to win a comp cam. We'll be giving one away after this. That'll be cool. Hope you win. We're just doing some basic maintenance on the car. We got most of the stuff done, but we did a test day at Lanier a few days ago and still uh, still have a few things to iron out, but I think we're gonna be good. You can hear ProSpec practicing in the background, but uh, yeah, come by, register to win, grab a shirt, grab some comp stickers, and uh, here we go. Here we are, lined up for practice. Been waiting here all day, I feel like, so I'm trying to Try not to cover the camera. Um, yeah, I've been waiting here. Thought it was gonna rain all morning. Didn't all during prospect, and now it's not showing that it's supposed to rain any. So excited about that. No secret, I don't really love drifting in the wet. Um, much prefer a faster experience. So it looks like we're gonna get some dry weather for practice and qualifying. Next clip you see will be the first round of practice. Okay, I haven't done many updates during uh, during practice. It's been a very short practice in relative terms, three hours uh, instead of four and a half like we normally get. I may have to pull forward here. Anyway, three hours instead of the four and a half that we normally get because it's a combined pro prospect weekend. But they've got dual burnout pits going right now. There's not one in the second pit, but um, it's making practice go a lot faster, so we're able to get a lot more laps in in a shorter amount of time. Hi! <laughs> and uh, that's working really well. As long as we don't have any like car issues, and thankfully we haven't, because um, then we would lose all of our practice instead of just a little bit. That's the trade-off for these quick turn practices, but been trying a lot of stuff with grip. I think we've made a, a lot of progress. Um, I'm really encouraged right now here at this track. I think um, I've been doing a lot more chases, trying to get comfortable. I feel pretty confident going into qualifying and maybe even more confident going into tandem. So um, I hope we can qualify good, get us a good matchup for top 32 tomorrow, but um, feel pretty good overall. Next up, Taylor Hole. Red, white, and blue. Taylor Hole, full pole hole. This first outside zone, let's see initiation. Yes, sir, really well done. That was fluid, so you saw how aggressive it was, riding that wall, flirting with the wall, into that second outside zone. Man, Taylor Hole is possessed. Really good fluidity, 
liking that. I have to assume a little bit of X Factor here, you know, garnering a little, woo, look at that. I mean, the transition there, oh, crawling a little bit. That was, that was chaseable in my eyes, but, uh, he, you know, we saw this earlier, we kind of spin, the wheel speed, got to power through, got to power through, and he did that, but that, that, that was a little precarious. Yeah, but you can see Taylor Hall here is really shooting for a big score and qualifying. Yep. Bit of a stepped initiation, but when it, once he gets to angle, did a really good job on outside zone one. Pretty decent transition there to zone two. Nice line through outside zone two at the beginning, close on that wall. And then he, as he finishes, comes off slightly off that outside line, not all the way into inside clip number two. Decent transition here to zone three. And then you can see he's standing on that left foot break as he's on throttle. And uh, kind of, like you said, crawling through that area a little bit but managing to keep the car online. And let's watch that transition again. Just a brief flash of the red from the D-cell lights, which is, again, in the right Except area that. right there. Yep. Yeah. It gets out nice and wide to zone two, so he did a good job of doing that entry to that zone. And then does the same thing here on zone three. Of course, could have been slightly deeper, um, but of course, a lot of throttle, a lot of, well, some break through there, which isn't always ideal. Want to see throttle through that area instead. All right, the comp cams, Koenig, Edelbrock, Corvette, Yellow Speed Racing Suspension, Wild Willys, got that beard accoutrements, the beard juice, Percy Wild Willys, and an 84, so he gets that number one spot. So congrats to Taylor Hull, full pull Hull, an 84 on his first run. That'll be All right, just got back from qualifying. We're sitting number one. They're still like... I don't know, 12 cars to go or something like that. But we're number one right now, and that's what matters. Just cancel the rest of qualifying. We're pole. But uh, car did really good. Um, Tamara gave me some great pointers on my line and transitions and all that kind of stuff. So thank you, Tamara. And uh, she wanted me to be a little bit more aggressive on initiation, but I was comfortable doing what I was doing. And so many people were missing outer zone one. So I didn't go quite as wild as I probably would have liked to, but um, paid off right now. So thanks to her, thanks to the crew here behind me. They've been working their butts off all day and uh, trying to get this thing right, working grip into it, taking grip back out of it, trying to find that perfect balance. And um, we finally have a qualifying result, no matter how it ends up, that I think we're gonna be proud of. So thank you to everybody. Thank you to the fans. Thank you to our partners. And uh, we'll see, I'll try and update at the end of this clip uh, where we end up in qualifying and kind of hopefully who will be battling on Saturday because we are not driving on Friday. Make sure you stay tuned and uh, yeah, you'll find out next what I don't know right now. Okay, we're headed out. Just got packed up. We are officially ninth place, which is the first top 10 qualifying effort in the Corvette. Pretty happy with that. Um, so now we have to eat. Um, we essentially have one lunch choice at Asphalt Anarchy and two dinner choices. <laughs> Andrew, can you tell us what the lunch choice is? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, always. Yeah, I didn't eat this. I didn't eat today. Mike, what is the dinner options? Uh, we go to Hooters or B-Dubs. Hooters or B-Dubs, so. Um, it is looking like we may do Hooters. We'll check the reviews. We're big, big chicken, big chicken guy. Dead bird is among the favorites. Um, and we are currently not on a food endorsement deal. So uh, hit us up. So I realized I did not do a outro um, back in the hotel. Qualified ninth, figured out we're gonna be going up against Simon Olson on Saturday. So we're excited for that battle. We got a lot of preparation we gotta do, a few little things on the car and uh, we'll be ready to go. So thanks everyone for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see you on the next video, which will be the Saturday update. Hopefully standing on the podium.